starting M359 block 3 lectures, let me introduce the course software to you. So in order to start the interactive SQL, go to start all program go to M359. You are able to see interactive SQL option. Click on this one. So we need to connect to a database. So it is asking for the user ID and password. User ID and password used in this course is M359 and the password is M359. So now we have supplied the user ID and password. So you can use default connection value stored in a profile. Now by default the none are selected. So in order to select an ODBC data source name, click on ODBC data source name. By default it is showing you hospital database. To change the database, go to browse. You are able to see the available databases here. So now we have selected hospital DSN. If you want to select the university, click on the university DSN. Click OK. Again click OK. So the title bar of the window changed to University DB M359 on M359 server. So now we have connected to the university database. So I want to see the contents of university database. In order to see the contents, available contents in university database, we need to start a program called Sybase Central. Again, go back to programs. Go to M359. So you can see an option called Sybase Central. So you are able to see a window with two panes. On the left hand side it is folders and right hand side is the details. Go to the tools menu. Connect. You can choose tools connect option to connect to a database or you can make use of the shortcut keys F11 to connect and F12 is to disconnect. Click on connect, user ID again M359 and the password is M359. So database is nothing is selected. By default the university is selected. If you want to change click on browse and select. Click OK. We are able to see the contents of University database. On the left hand side you can see tables, views, indexes, triggers, system triggers, procedures and functions, events, domains, Java objects, users and groups, integrated logins, SQL remote users, mobiling users, publications, ultralight projects, DB spaces, remote servers and the web services. So if you want to see the contents of the tables, expand the tables option folder. Here you can see all the available tables in the university database. For example, if I click on the student, the tables are assigned in alphabetical order. Click on student. Right hand side shows the details of the student table. So we have the columns, we have foreign keys, referencing tables, unique constraints, check constraints, indexes, triggers and data. So there, these are the data available inside the student table. Go to columns. You are able to see the column titles of the student table. The titles are student ID, name, address, email address, registration date and the region number. Let me click on the enrollment table. So here you are, you are able to see only three titles, the student ID, course code and enrollment date. Now if we want to connect to the hospital database, again press F12 to disconnect. So now we have disconnected from 
university database. In order to connect to the hospital database, press F11. The user ID is M359, password is M359. Go to browse, select hospital database, click OK, click OK. So these are the available tables inside the hospital database. We have the doctor table, we have the drug table. So for example, we have the nurse table, we have the team, we have treatment, etc., etc. So let me minimize the screen for, for a while. So now I, I've connected in the interactive SQL the university. So let me disconnect here again. Press F12 to disconnect and so you can see a message disconnected from university DB. In order to connect to the, the hospital database, press F11. It's asking for the user ID and the password. Go to browse and select the hospital. Click OK. OK. So we have seen that we have a table called doctor. Let me see the contents of this table. Select star represent all everything. From where? From doctor table. So to execute, click on the execute button. So you are able to see staff number, doctor name, position, and the details. Let us see what doctor table contains here. So the same thing, three columns, and the details are here. Now, to see the details of the treatment table, change doctor table to treatment table. Execute. You are able to see 15 rows here and four columns, staff number, patient ID, start date, and reason. I believe you are familiar with the course software now. We'll come back for our practical sessions.